So we're continuing on the polynomials. Okay, just if you're wondering where we're going, we are having chapter five and chapter seven as one unit test this time. Chapter five is polynomials and the addition subtraction of them, and chapter seven is multiplying, multiplying, dividing them. Okay, so first couple lessons we're talking about what are polynomials, how do they look, how do we identify them. Then we're going to talk about adding like terms, the term putting together, and then we'll talk about multiplying and dividing them for chapter seven. Okay, so five and seven will be together. So you have a little bit bigger unit test. Okay, so that means you're going to have two packets. They'll be due at the same time. So those of you guys procrastinators, that might be dangerous because if you're not even done with five and we're halfway through seven, you're in trouble. Okay, so make sure that when you're doing this stuff that you're caught up. Okay, so for each expression, identify the coefficient, the variables, and the exponent of each variable. So for A, you have your coefficient is three for the coefficient. Coefficient is a number in front of the variable. Your variable is just w. And the exponent on the variable is the 1, right? Because there's nothing there. We assume, or we uh, yeah, assume the best word, is a 1. OK, so we, yeah. we go to b. So the coefficient for b is 1, because it's nothing in front. Again, we assume it's a 1. The variable is an a. That's a bad a. Okay, and the exponent's a 2. C, coefficient, negative 4. Variables is x and y, because there's 2. Exponent is 1 on both of them. You can put 1 and 1 if you'd like. Cool. D, last one here, and then we'll let you guys ask some here. So D, um, coefficient's negative 1. A negative sign stands for negative 1. Your variable is G. Again, the exponent's 1. Again, if you're confused where I'm getting the 1s from, 1 in math is not, they're not going to write the 1. They're not going to write the right 1 for exponents. You'll never see on a math book, you'll never see 1x. Okay? They'll just write x. Okay, so get used to that. All right. Okay, so on the show you know here, so we'll just start with Brie. Let's work around the room today. So Brie, on this one, what's the coefficient of B there? Good. And your variable? Good. And your exponent? Good. Okay. Evan, how about C? What's your coefficient on C? Good. Variable? Good. Exponent? Good. Kato? Seven variables, S and T, and then your exponents. One and the, there's a two on the T, right? So one and two. Okay, good. Any questions there? Okay, so now we're going to get into the process of kind of starting about talking about mul or not multiplication, addition, subtraction. We have to understand what like terms are. Okay. Like terms have to have the same variable, same exponent. Let me say that again. Like terms have to have the same variable or variables and exponents. You guys understand that? So I kind of do, you know, just in a maybe an extreme example in terms of being almost funny. Variables can be anything. X, Y, Z. I could even say three smiley face minus two smiley face, they're the same-ish, <laughs> they're the same variable. So that's just one smiley face. That'd be your answer if you're combining those because that's just, they're common terms. So when you're looking at stuff, you're looking for common terms. So you have a three X and a negative two X. Those are like terms. Six Y squared, negative four Y squared. Both Y squareds, like terms. X, Y, and Y, X, are those like terms? x, y, and y, x. Yeah, because multiplication is interchangeable. Okay, so these are still like terms. And then we, everybody knows we can do 17 and negative 8, right? Those are just numbers. So those are like terms. Okay, so again, I'll say it one more time, being very redundant. Like terms mean terms with the same variable and the same exponent. Okay, another one. 6x squared yz. 
minus 8x squared yz. These are also like terms. They have the same variables with the same degree, or same exponents. Okay? Keep really hitting that. It's really important you understand like terms because you're going to use these, those a ton for the rest of your math career. Okay? All right, so identify like terms in each group. So, Caden, where do you see what like terms are in this group here? Uh, right here on A. Um, so there's, there's a group of two that are like terms. Uh, All right, take a second. So you're looking for the same variable with the same exponent. Negative 2b and 6b, correct. Those are your like terms. Everything else has something extra. The 5b squared has a square. The cb has an extra c. The c doesn't have a b. Okay, good. Okay, we'll try a tor. How about B, Tor? Where, which ones are like terms in Tor? Uh, not in Tor, in B. It's <laughs> 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 an evil laugh. Uh, negative 2x squared is negative Good, you got one more. Uh, no, nope, this one here, I mean. Do you have one more? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right. 3x squared as well. Give him a sec. He's recovering. Give him a sec. Caden, you're, you're badgering him. Relax. Okay, Aiden, C. Um, 11 Good. 11 and negative 3. There actually is another group. And, um, three, 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 and three. Good. These are also like terms. P, Q, and Q, P. Because there's. Correct. Does not matter the variables are, as long as they have the same amount of them. Okay? Good? So we had two groups, not one. All right. Make up. Yep. Can the, can the exponent be changed? Can the exponent be changed? If it was like 6p squared q? 6p squared q? Okay. No. They have to be on the same one, so this is not like terms. 6, he asks, is 6p squared q the same as 6q squared p? It's not. The q and the p have different exponents, so therefore they're not like terms. Okay? So see right here? It's p squared and then q squared. Those are, have different, they're different letters being squared, so this is not like terms there. Yeah, Jack? Okay, well, I'm just going to go around the room, so we'll get to you. We'll get to you. Okay? All right, so we are at Brett. So make up two like terms for each expression. So 4x, give me two other like terms. So this is an open question, Brett. You can think of anything. 2x, 6x. 2x, 6x, good. OK, we'll jump over to Luke. Luke, how about here? It's for the negative 6p squared q. 3p squared q and 7p. Good. Good. Jade, how about the 8? What was the first number? 7 and 5. Good. Just some numbers, right? Okay, good. Uh, Nolan, circle the like terms for B there. Uh, 3S and 3S. 3S and negative 8S. Good. Any questions? Okay. So combine like terms in each expression. So now we're going to combine them by addition and subtraction. So we are starting the addition here. Okay. So method, you can use a model. So you can use the algebra tiles if you'd like. The algebra tiles help you identify what are like terms because they're the same shape. Okay. I'm not a huge uh, pusher of algebra tiles, but if you do like them, you can definitely use them. What you have to know for algebra tiles in the PAT, so that's our major you know, exam at the end of the year, is how to read them. If you can read them, you're great. You don't have to do all your work with them, though. Okay? So in terms of what they're asking for here, see how black means the black bar, that's an x, negative x, your x squared, that's a square, and then your units. So if I did this, I'd have 
one, two, three, four bars for my x's, because 4x. I'd have two white bars for my negative 2x. I'd have three little boxes that are dark for my plus 3 for these guys right here. And then I'd have six white ones. Okay, obviously it's a little hard for me to just tend to draw these perfectly, but so there you go. Now the way I think about it, and this may be a little bit, you know, <laughs> too young or being a little too uh, easy with this, but I kind of think about it almost like a war. So like four x's, two x's, cancel, cancel, that's who's left. So I have two x left, which is also the same as four minus two. I know that's, say that again? Zeroing out pairs, yep, canceling out, yep, all that's good. Same thing here, war here, the negatives win. They had three left over, so you got negative three. So 2x minus 3 is your answer for combining like terms there. Again, if you don't like the auto tiles, that's OK. Again, you just need to be able to read them. If you're fine with what is 4 minus 2x, 2x, 3 minus 6, negative 3, you're good to go. OK, all that's good. OK, so we have this one here. Why don't you give you a second here to try this one? I want you to draw it the best you can at the outer tiles, see how you do. Yeah, absolutely. If you already saw uh, just for this first two, okay? Let's just make sure we can do the model. Okay, so the thing that's helpful is to go ahead and identify what's going to be close to each other. So I have a 2x squared, the dark, and then I have an x squared. Okay, I have a 3x and a negative 4x, so I have three bars that are dark. And I have four that are white. Okay. I like to cross things out as I get rid of them. I have a negative one and a negative two. Okay, so guys, in this one, kind of like what Luke was saying, do we zero out here? No, no they're all on the same team. They're all shaded. So it's th that's one, two, three. So I get three x squared. I have three of them. Here, we do zero out, gone, gone, gone. One negative guy was left over, so that's a negative 1x. All these on the whites, these are all on the same team. One, two, three, all negative, negative 3. 3x three squared, potato. Minus x, minus 3. Okay, all right. So one more of these, and then we're going to do it without the algebra tiles. So if you're, oh, um, sorry, I can't. Dang it. What do you need? Okay, so we'll just do this one together so we can hustle up and finish this off. So we have four minus x squared. So I have four minus x squared plus two x minus five plus three x squared minus two x. There's my x squared. I have a white x squared, and then I have three dark x squareds. So they're positives. So I'm done with my x squareds. I have a 2x and a negative 2x. Okay. And then I have a 4 and a negative 5. Okay. So I lined them up. They all have opposites. So there's going to be canceling. Those cancel. I'm left with 2x squared. 1, 2. These cancel. They're gone. There is no x's. x is at, is at 0, so you don't have to write them. Okay. And then lastly, your units cancel. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's one negative left. This is your best answer. 2x squared minus the 1. Everybody gets that, then we'll chat about the uh, next three here without algebra tiles. Is everybody good? Yeah? 
Okay, so on the next one, to do without adjectiles, you simply find like terms and you just add them together. So 4x minus 2x, that's 4 minus 2. A common mistake is when people do 4x minus 2x, they think that x is canceled. They don't. Okay, if I have four apples, I take away two apples, I still have two apples. Okay, so you keep the x is my point. All right, so 4x minus 2x is 2x because that's 4 minus 2. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So then I come down to B. Again, these look familiar because the same ones we just did. 2x squared plus 1x squared. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then I have 3x minus 4x. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Then I have negative 1 minus 2, negative 3. That's how you're grouping like terms. Yes? The single x, because it's a 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. So you don't write negative 1. It's negative x. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, remember, just an x, it stands for a 1. That case is a negative 1. OK, good question. And lastly here, 4 minus 5. OK, that's negative 1. <coughs> Negative x squared plus 3x squared. So that's a negative 1 plus 3. This is a negative 1x squared plus 3, which is 2. Got those done. And I have a positive 2x and a negative 2x. Those just cancel. You're done. That's your answer. Now, if it's hard for you to do that in your head, if you're having trouble sorting through that stuff, you know how I was circling them? You can just write them beside each other. 2x squared with a minus. Uh, or plus x squared, you just write that right here next to each other so you can see it better. Okay, you can switch the order of these as long as you keep the signs next to them. That's totally fine. So like for the 3x, it's 3x minus 4x, so it'd be 3x minus 4x. And you can see, oh, it's 3 minus 4. Okay? All right, last piece here. Everybody have it? Okay. All right, so... So draw algebra tiles to combine like terms. OK, so we got to go 5x's. Hopefully your x's are better than mine. So these should be shaded somewhat darker. And then I have a negative 3x squared and a negative x squared. OK, we're kind of doing 1 and 2 at the same time here. So these cancel. That gives me 3x. These don't cancel. They're all one big group. It's a negative 4x squared. And that's what goes right here. OK. Any questions? All right, last one. And then you just stop talking. <laughs> okay, so rearrange these so you have like terms together. So I have a k and I have a negative 3k. So I'll write k minus 3k. So I got those rearranged. Negative 2 square, 2k squared plus 5k squared. 3 minus 4. They're all rearranged so they're right next to each other so you can see them. Now we're going to combine them. 1, remember it's a 1k, minus 3, negative 2k. Negative 2 plus the 5 plus 3k squared. 3 minus the 4, negative 1. Now you put it right there. And that would be it. Okay, if we have some questions. <coughs>